Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so um, as far as last episode goes, there's no off-screen recording, or off-camera recording, I should say. Um, because all we did last time was basically stun jumps for the entire episode. We did that one random event, um, and then we did towards the end we did do a, a Strangers and Freaks, but it didn't have any gold requirements. So yeah, it was just a cutscene mission, really. Um, so yeah, nothing to do off-camera. What we're going to go do now is this Trevor mission that's right over here. So let's go get to it. Uh, fairly tough mission coming up, guys. I think the Trevor missions seem to be a little more difficult than the Michael and Franklin missions. At least in my experience. But, um... Yeah, we'll, uh... We'll go take it on. There's, um... Five gold requirements. And we're deliberately not going to get one of them. Uh, and I'll explain why after we do the mission. Um, there's another one we're not going to get because it's a, the time limit, which is the time limit on this one is brutal. Uh, we're definitely not going to get it. You definitely have to skip cutscenes and really move fast to um, to get the time limit that they won't. So we're not going to get that one either because I'm not going to skip those cutscenes. You gotta see this! So let's go talk to Ron. What's going on, Ron? They were here for you. Here for you. Who was here? Them bikers. After you killed Johnny K. And they damage my stuff, huh? They smash up my home, damage my soul. This, 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 this statue here of impotent rage, this fucking meant more to me than Johnny K meant to anyone, and they smashed it. Those pathetic. Midlife crisis, hog riding, shaven headed, fruity leather, chap wearing fucking assholes. They're assholes, Trevor. They are. They're chap wearing assholes. Oh, wait, 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 you little shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, Michael fucking Townley, right? Bitch wife, two kids, 45. Find them. Los Santos is a big, big place, Trevor. There's lots of people. You are fucking useless. Huh? Find out who did that fucking robbery, all right? And if Michael Townley lives there, or anyone matching his description, I'm gonna kill you and your fucking cousin. Am I being clear now? Yes, Trevor. Thank you, Wayne. Now smile. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. all right? That's better. Run along. Uh, <laughs> now, Ron, shall we go? I cannot believe that they fucking destroyed my statue of impotent rage. The cheek, huh? The fucking cheek of it. <laughs> I gotta swing by ammunition. Go to Sandy Shores Airfield. Check it out. Yeah, must have really liked that statue, huh, guys? Okay. So let's, Come uh. Come on! I'll come in your ear when I get a hold of you. I'm not buying anything. I need a sniper rifle with a high power scope. They say they support local business. Well, we're about to find out if that's true. You need some serious help, mister. Everything is just getting saggy. Melvin! How you feel about brand synergy, huh? TP Industries. Ammunition. Good, because you're about to make a corporate gift of a rifle, a high powered scope, and a suppressor. Uh, take whatever you want, Trevor. I can't afford another fire. Okay. That sniper on your wall looks like it'll do the job. Let's grab the sniper rifle. It'll do nicely. So we you need a scope and a suppressor for this. We need the scope and a suppressor. So there's a suppressor. Quiet as a mouse. And an advanced scope. All right. Now stop selling weapons to that halfwit, Cletus. All right. We got our sniper rifle. Let's head back onto the ATV. Bling my own shit. Yes, yes. Run! Run, I got the gun. Meet me at the water tower just north of the airfield. Roger that, Trevor. But you gotta look out, because there's bikers all over this airstrip. Of course there are! Two planes are touching down at the field on a weapons run. We're gonna wait till the right time and appropriate them. 
We are? Yes, we are! I'm waiting at the water tower, boss! I'm up here. All right. I don't see the hardware, but I do see a hell of a lot of bikers. Up here! All right, let's head on up. Go on up, boss. This is high enough for me. We gotta wait till you can slip in there unnoticed. Should give you the time to plan a route to the gas tank you're rigging up to blow. Enough waiting. This is your moment, Ronald. Whenever you get a doubt in your mind, I want you to remember that I'm watching you through the scope of a high-powered rifle. Right, Trevor! <laughs> right! Right! Got it! Now, relax! The ATV can only take you so far. Park it and don't let them spot you. Can you see me, Trevor? Trevor! Do you see me? You wouldn't believe this, Ron. One of these assholes is having a seizure or something. That's me! That's me! Don't shoot! Well, get a move on! I'm moving! Just yeah, okay. keep me covered, okay? So let's keep Ron covered. As he makes his way to the right. Off these lights. The see that body. I already shot the lights, so you can calm down. I shoot out the lights. Good. Well, uh, don't shoot the guy in the van until he stops and gets out, okay? That way they don't see the body. Okay. Wait for these guys to get out of the truck. Or the van. Oh, fire. We gotta see what he's up to. Now one of the requirements here guys is headshots, so we're gonna go after headshots as much as we can. I think he's just calling the dead guy. You can erase him now. He's out of the van now. Do him. If the man wants to pay his respects, I ain't You should have seen the look on his face. Wait! A guy came out of the control tower! Get him quick! This ain't a joke! He's gotta go! Ooh, down he goes. Down he goes. <laughs> I just said that. Oh no! Bottom of the tower! Another guy's on his way! He's down there! Amongst the bodies! Not anymore, he's not. Shot, Trev. There's another guy at the top of the tower! He's probably looking for his buddy! He found him! Take him out, or he'll trip the alarm! And they all came tumbling down. Get your sights back on me, Trev. I'm scared. Get your sights on me, man. I can't move till I'm covered. Come on, Ron. I got you in my sights, so get a move on and plant that bomb on the gas tank. Yeah. I can't. There's someone coming out of that building. I can hear him at that far door. Oh, this guy. Shoot! The guy had a buddy in the building! He's coming out! He's seen the body! Take him out before he raises the alarm! I got it, Ron. Okay. It. Just keep a lookout. And watch out for the tank. It'll go up if you hit it. I think someone's coming. Shit. Shit! He's on to me! A bolt from the blue! Can you hear that? Chopper! Incoming! Always hated that chopper! Just fucking drive, you're bikers! It's looking for us, T! We ain't gonna get them guns when they got tactical superiority! If I hit the chopper, everyone's gonna know we're here! Try and hit the pilot when he's settled! They might think- Down he goes. All right. <laughs> uh, I love it. Okay. Here we go, guys. Okay. 
Okay, guys. Now we got a battle on our hands. Terrible. Well, suppose there's room for a passenger. Let's go. Find a clear path of runway and take off. I told my contact to meet us just off the coast. Hey, there's a bike here on your wing, Trevor. I am aware of this. Well, you gotta get him off. Do a roll or something. Well, the man on my wing presents no immediate danger. I'll do my best to oblige you. Get off the wing. Okay. You set up a buyer for these guns already? I thought we was just hitting back at them for the thing with Ooh. the statue. <laughs> careful, if careful. If you read our latest shareholder report, Ron, you'd know TP Enterprises has been exploring a takeover of some lost MC business in the armaments and narcotics sectors for some time. And that kind of requires someone to purchase our guns. Right, of course. But Johnny K and the figurine? Recent events, my impending departure included, have only expedited things. Trevor Phillips Enterprises is a far superior organization to the Lost Leather Club. Well, we hope we improve revenue streams, cut overheads, and maximize profit all that. <laughs> I wouldn't expect anything less. For one thing, we won't be paying a bunch of idiots to stand around in cowhide sniff engine fumes. It's important work you're doing out here. God knows, we need a sharp mind running things. I am blessed to be a part of it. There's a fire in the water. I'm guessing it's them. That's him. Let's do it. Okay. So we gotta drop these off at the... Where this flare is. Now, um... Fort San Kudo coming up. If we fly low, we ain't gonna show up on military. Whoops. Okay, guys, um... Uh, we passed those three bridges as we were coming up this river. They were very easy to go under. That's um, those are three of the six bridges that we need to get uh, to do the the gold requirement. How do I drop cargo? Hey, okay. They got 
Shipment successfully delivered, Ron. Now remember, if you beat me to the airstrip, I'll butcher your carcass and wrap you in cheesecloth. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you gotta go under all these bridges. That's, uh, there's six of them. There's eight of them all together that you could do, but I'm deliberately not doing that. Um, P.P. Enterprises are raising guidance, and the Lost MC are posting unexpectedly soft projections for the coming quarter. They're getting everything that's coming to them. A vast criminal conspiracy like the Lost MC shouldn't let a goon like Johnny K represent them. He was a man past his prime. I heard he used to be serious. A few hard stamps to the head knocked the seriousness right out of him. Sure did. But before that, I mean... Back in Alderney. Man was weak for Crystal, weak for Ashley, man was weak. Shouldn't have spoken to me like that. He shouldn't have. He was a fool. And you corrected him. He'll not do that again. Keep low, over the swamp, boss. Okay. So the guns are going to Mexico? Mexico, yep. Guy in the boat is Oscar Guzman. He's in with the cartels. If there's a market, this could be a way to expand the business. Like I hadn't thought of that? We might be able to buy into Oscar's thing, but leave that to me, Ron. Alright, guys. I'm sorry to ask this, but does your contact pay well for this kind of shipment? Because I've got those lawyer fees for the divorce and my settlement costs. Oh, he pays. Better than any in this great country. That's good to hear, man. We'll talk about the exact split when we're grounded, okay? Alright, T. Okay, guys, we just gotta land the plane. So there's the landing strip ahead. Ah! Why are we all over the place? You see, Trevor, you won. You're the better man, as if there was any doubt. All right, guys. Right in. I think that was adequate restitution for my impotent rage statue. That was a mighty fine statue, Trev. That was a mighty fine piece of plastic shit. But there is no price for emotional attachment. I mean, you might forego your cut to uh, alleviate my heartache. I might. Yeah, I mean, I will. Good idea. We don't have time to dwell on that now. Because we got more runs, Ron. If there is one thing that they need south of that big fence, it is guns. <laughs> Trevor Phillips Industries. Technical expertise. Hmm? Managerial innovations. Unstoppable. Oh, that's right. Now go. I need to meditate. Or masturbate. Or both. <laughs> well, there you go. So we just unlocked the the properties. We can now buy properties. Actually, with all three of our characters. But, uh, of course, only Trevor is available to us right now. Okay, gang. Um, as soon as the... Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're going to get this whole deal about... Uh, how to buy properties. As soon as this is done, we should end the mission. And there you go, we made $62,000 too. Not bad. So we got the headshots and we got the nervous twitch, which is just, um, nervous twitch is beating Ron to the, uh, to the airfield. We missed the mission time, we didn't do the bridges, and death on a wing is, um, killing all the bikers, which I didn't managed to get because I was terrible <laughs> uh, that was pretty bad actually okay guys um, so what we're gonna do now is go save a plane now if there's a plane here that's fine you can take it you can also if there's not a plane there if you're following along uh, yeah right um you can take this one. It'll start up a, a side mission, but you can ignore it. Um, what I'm going to do, we're going to take this plane with just a 
before we do that, actually, let's grab this. Uh, we're going to buy this property, the Mackenzie Airfield. Hey, T! Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Yeah, Oscar, what's up? No, I'm keeping it tranquilo, bro. You know, I mean, demand is crazy down south, man. Crazy. Yeah, well, you know, the feds, they're not supplying the arms to the Mexican criminals, so someone's got to step it. Oh, yeah, they need guns, bro. So many guns. But luckily for us, they're easily acquired up here. Yeah, well, that's our freedom's gift to the world, right? You American? Man, I didn't even know. Anyway, shit, it's going to be profitable for the both of us. But completion is tough, bro. To control the market down there, uh, we gotta control supply up here. We got a couple local contracts to help us out stateside, so this plane is loaded with their shipments. You make a couple drops, you come back here. Uh, you know, they say that the American industry is suffering, but uh, you and I, <laughs> we got a good export story. Ah, okay. Ah, I'll be on the radio, man. That's great. <laughs> okay. Uh. Yes, we purchased the Mackenzie Airfield here. Yeah, I know. Okay, let's wait for the tutorial again. Okay. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> so we spent all of Trevor's money mostly. Now he's down to 20 grand. Whatever. No big deal. Uh, we're going to grab this plane. What I want to do is go save it. Uh, let's see here. So I'm back up. All right, here we go. Where we want to go is our hangar, which is down here. Okay, this is where we're going. So let's take off. Uh, what, what the hell? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Plane suddenly decided to bank on me really hard. Just had some turbulence. Okay, so this isn't very far away, guys. So um, you want to get lined up the airstrip if you can. Uh, which is somewhere over here. Come on, plane. Jeez. All right, we're going to have to make another pass. This is... The plane's bouncing all over the place. I can't steer it. All right, try it again. The only reason I'm doing this is because we want to save the plane. Um, in our hangar. Stop bouncing. Um, in case we crash it. That way we can come back and get it. Because we're going to be doing some under the, the bridge things. Oh, man. Enough with the turbulence. Quit it. Good lord. It's like trying to fly a Bronco. Quit! Oh my god! <laughs> fly straight! Ooh. Turn this way. All right. Jeez! It's raining, that's why. God, no wonder I was having such trouble. Man. It's like trying to, to land a, a Bronco bouncing around. Anyway, yes, let's go put this in the hair.
Well, that's not going to make doing the under the bridges any easier. <laughs> suddenly decides to start pouring rain. All right. There you go. So we got a Vestra stored in our our um, hangar. Okay. What the heck? Weather's gonna make it difficult. Oh boy. Like this isn't a hard enough thing to do. Well, whatever. Let's go see if we can get it done. So yeah, the plane's stored now. So let's go. Let's get up in the air. Alright gang, let's pull up the map. <laughs> Let's see how well this is going to go. Okay. Uh, so there's a couple of rivers. This is the Alamo Sea right here. Okay. There's a couple of rivers that feed into it from the west. We're going to start on the north side. Um, and the bridge that we want is right here. So, um, gang, we're going to go do actually eight of these. Now, I may have done one already. I know there was one that we did for that one mission. Oh boy. Oh boy. We're just bouncing everywhere, aren't we? Good lord. Um, we did one for that one, uh, Strangers and Freaks. I think it was the, um, the cult mission. Boy, this is going to make this really difficult. Not to mention I can't see where we're going. Um... Should be fun. Let's start pouring rain right when Juan wants to do the uh, under the bridge stunts. Okay. Uh, there you go. There's one. There's two. A second, let me check where we're going. Um, okay, this last one. Uh, that's not one of them. Last one is this one right here. This is where we're going to go. Fortunately, most of these are pretty easy, um, given that we're trying to do this in bad weather. All right, there's three, actually four, because we already did that one. Um, okay, for the next one, we're gonna go this way over to the second river, right here. So yeah, let's make our way south. Oh boy. <laughs> Stupid rain. <laughs> Unbelievable. Now, this one's fairly low, as I remember. That's alright. No worries. Jeez. 
Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Yeah, there we go. So there's the bridge we're going to go under. Let's see, you can see how low it is. Of course, we're going to bounce up and down and side to side. There you go. There's another one. So that's the fourth one. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Come on, fly straight. Okay, where are we going? Um, okay, guys, so the next one is this one right here. Now, as I remember, jeez, oh, can I complain about the uh, weather a little bit more? This one's a little bit tricky. Woo! Uh, uh oh. How come we didn't get that one? Oh, wow. <laughs> Maybe the one that I already got? Not really sure. Oh. Right, let's try it again. Let's try, um. Oh, stop bouncing, stop bouncing. Please, I'm begging you. Okay, well, guys, that was perfect, so that must have been the one we already did. Okay, this next one, gang, is really very hard, as I remember. And oh, the chances of me being able to do this... My plane bouncing all over the place. Whoa, 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 that's not good. Yeah. <sighs> okay, guys. So we're going to try this one again. Now that the, uh, the weather's a little better, the plane's flying straighter. Somewhat more, somewhat more straight. Um, the trick to this bridge is to fly along the road and hit it here. you got to watch out for this pole. And get underneath, and hopefully, whoo, there you go. <laughs> okay. Now these last two bridges are right along the river. Let's see if we can get these. Uh, first one's pretty easy. The second one's not so much. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> well, we got one of them. <laughs> okay, guys. So I don't know. <laughs> I've lost track of how many times I've tried this this particular bridge. This is a very difficult bridge to do. Um, this may be easier to do in a helicopter, actually. Uh, I'm having some real tough time getting it done in a plane, just because it's so low to the ground. Um, and of course, my plane is going to start bouncing everywhere. Yes, please. Woo! There you go. We did it. <laughs> smacked into the ground a couple of times doing it, but we did it! Okay, so there you go. Uh, okay gang, um, what we're going to do is go take our damaged plane over to the other airstrip, right here. And we're going to go run one of those, um, 
uh, one of the like the side missions that we we picked up for owning this particular. Um, oh man, we got a dead engine. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> uh oh, is the other engine flaming out on me too? Don't don't do that. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> we may have a hard time landing this sucker. This should be interesting. <laughs> this is what you shouldn't smack your plane into a... Um... Uh-oh. Come on, now. That wasn't too bad, right? <laughs> I had one engine out and the other one which kept stalling. That's hilarious. Alright, let's get out of this plane. <laughs> oh, why are we carrying a weapon around, Trevor? We don't need to be doing that. Okay, we're going to go do arms traffic. Uh, where we deliver the, the weapons to the guy on the boat. And to do that, you just come in here and you get get into this red plane. All right. Oscar, Tango, Foxtrot, Whiskey, Oscar. Hey, oh, you're on the edge. I like that. I think. Okay, that plane is is custom fitted for package drops. State of the art radar, secure radio. It's tricked out, man. Really. Because it looks like it was made by a child for a school project. You're just a typical classic light aircraft enthusiast enjoying his midlife crisis. No profile. My middle name. Okay, radar's working. You're up on the screen here. We got two deliveries. I put in the coordinates. You make the drops. You get out of there. Easy. Roger. Oscar. Trevor. All right, guys. So here, all we're going to do is drop off a couple of packages. Nothing to it. So yeah, what you want to do here is just stay low so that when you drop off the package, it, it hits the target instead of, you know, having to fly all the way down. Um, So yeah, you can see the smoke up ahead. That's where we're going. That's the flyer. And the closer you get, the more money you're gonna make. So it, it does behoove you to, to stay low. All right, here we go. Right on target. There you go. What I like to hear. And it's just the A key to drop off, drop the uh, the package off. Okay, the second one I think is up somewhere on the mountain. So you know we're gonna have to make climb some altitude. <sighs> I don't see the smoke yet. There it is. Okay, no problem. Remember, we want to stay low. Perfect. That's another hit. Great, man. That was your last buyer. You can head on back. Okay, gang. Now we're heading back. Or the airfield, which is, uh, yeah, where the marker is. All good, Trevor? Oscar, que onde, compadre? Hey, I didn't know you spoke a real language. Damuna, mamada, grama, mamacita. <laughs> Shit, man. Do you even know what you're saying? I learned.
learned everything I know from some lovely ladies just south of the border. Ah, okay. How long you been up here anyway? <laughs> you seem to know your way around. Maybe five years on and off. I pretty much stay north now. There's too much competition. I have to stay visible. And you? I mean, even I know that ain't a San Andrean accent. Sandy Shores, few years. Self-destructive right-wing misfits, math, guns, incest. Closest I could find to the Midwest. Okay, where's my landing pad? There it is, right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that was a terrible landing. <laughs> Bounced a little. Came in a little bit too too fast. That's all right. We set her down. That's all that counts. All right. Should have made seven grand for that. Maybe even a little more. Back 125 extra dollars. Woohoo! There you go, guys. Nice. Seven grand. Very cool. Okay, gang. Um, what I'm going to go do right now... Let's see. I can find a vehicle. I don't want to... There's the buggy right there, but I don't want to take the buggy. Because um, that'll fire up another mission. Which I don't want to do. So... Let's hop the fence. Let's see if we can grab a... Not a camper, are you kidding me with this camper? Alright, let's go get this guy's car. Excuse me. Pardon me, excuse me, pardon me. I'm gonna need this. You're yeah. getting raw. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Nice pants there, dude. Okay. So where we're going is the um question mark icon right here. The strangers and freaks. So let's head over there, and we'll get this going. Um, let's see, are there any gold requirements for this one? Yeah, there's some gold requirements for this particular mission. Uh, I don't know if we'll get them. I seem to remember having trouble with them before, but uh, if I don't get them here, I'll get them off camera. Oh yeah, we're going to be shooting coyotes, um, and the gold mission requirements are to get two in one shot, to have a 75% accuracy. Um, whoops. Shit, shit, shit. Probably should watch where I'm driving. And also to um, shoot the three. We're going to be shooting some chest satellite dishes. we got to shoot all three without missing. That's, that one's no problem. Uh, I messed up the front end of my car. What the heck? Come on. <laughs> Come on, car. country. Faster. So I think where we're heading is that abandoned hotel where we did that one stunt jump, if I'm not mistaken. Of course I'm really... I can walk faster than this. Jeez. You do? Nothing. What you up to, Cletus? Uh, hunting. Uh, hunting what? Retirees? Nah, just stuff. Uh, windows, antenna, tires. Vermin! Ah, so that was you. Tis the season for it. I don't give a shit about no season. <laughs> oh, good, huh? Don't let the regulations get you down. That's what I'm saying. Hey, hey, hey. You want to come hunting with me? It'd be real neighborly of you. Hell, why not? <laughs> All right, then. Up here with you. <laughs> okay, let's go hunting with Cletus. I got just a thing. Let's raise some hell, neighbor. 
Oh, I'm in. I'll introduce you to one of my all-time favorite pastimes. <laughs> You're gonna love this. Okay. You see them three big satellite dishes? A decent shot, and they'll go down easier than a whore's drawers. You're a real pillar of the community. Half the folks in this town would sell their own mother, and most of the other half already did. Screw them. Okay. Let's see. There's a bunch of satellite dishes right there. Which one do they want me to hit? Yeah, that's it. Give that them one. hell. Shoot another one. Uh. Well, I can't see because the flag is you in the big way. Lunk. For reality TV for you, Mrs. Gilbert. Okay. There it is. There we go. <laughs> Didn't I tell you this would be more fun than a barrel full of pussies? Ooh, you're a classy date, Cletus. No denying that. <laughs> now drive us up to that abandoned motel. I got an even better idea. All right. I think, are we in the abandoned motel? I don't know where we are. Whatever. Let's head over there. We'll take Cletus's car since mine's all messed up. So, what now? We gonna try our luck on something less stationary. Ooh, liberals? <laughs> Nothing as slippery as that. You'll see. Ain't she a beauty? Drives like a dream. You've got way too much time on your hands. Nah, this is just a bit of foolery. I've been busier than hell with the real hunting. The money and wild organic meat these days, you wouldn't believe. Them hipsters will give you their parents' last dime for it. It's gotten so I can't even keep up with the demand no more. All this eat local, small batch, farm to table bullshit. You know, I could maybe use another pair of hands if I can get you up to snuff with that rifle. If you keep on criticizing my shooting, you'll be starring in a snuff with that rifle. <laughs> Here we are. Okay. I bet you never shut out the tires on a car before? Oh, you'd be surprised. Well, let's see what you got then. Ain't you gonna shoot anything, Cletus? Nah, I do this all the time, and I wanna see how you deal with a moving target. Okay, guys, so we gotta... This is perfect, right here. Pick a car and shoot a tire. Good, plain, old-fashioned fun. So, here we go. We gotta shoot some tires. And this is where I lose my accuracy <laughs> numbers, because it's actually not that easy to do. I mean... Paying the body work. Oh, come on, I hit that. All right, your best bet, come on, Gars, where are you? Is to wait for uh, the SUVs to come come by. You're slower than molasses on a cold day. Well, there isn't no cars coming by. What do you want me to do, Cletus? Nice, go on, one more, just for the hell of it. There's one. There's another one. I never knew you were such an agitator, Cletus. That's it, beauty. And again, Trevor. Shit for brains. Cars don't burst. Shoot the tires. I feel like I hit that. <sighs> okay, come on. What do we... Hmm, she got lucky with you, all right. Looks like maybe you can use some more practice. Let's change it up. Come on, follow me. All right. Well, that was not so good, but whatever. We got it done. Just uh, two fellers killing time in small town America. Don't get much better than this, does it? The two most popular guys in town. Am I glad I ran into you? 
Ain't nowhere near this fun being antisocial on your own. Whatever cranks your tractor, I say. What's up next on the hillbilly anarchist agenda? Ever shot anything with a face? Actually, let me ask it again. Ever shot anything with a face on four legs? Now, Cletus, it's important you realize I'm a man plagued by vicious rumors. Fine. Let's head for the roof. I seen some coyotes hanging around down by the road. Reckon it would be real neighborly of us to get rid of a couple. And we are nothing if not neighborly. Exactly. No harm done. Come on, Cletus. Come on, Trevor. <laughs> Run straight. We'll get a better shot from up here. All right. Now yeah, we got to take out some coyotes. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see him. All right. All right. One of the gold missions or gold requirements is to get two in one shot. So. All right. I see him. Looks like we got two packs of coyotes down there. Take a few of them out, and the rest should scatter. If at all possible. <laughs> Sing to me now, song dog, and another. Again, I feel like I got both of those guys in one shot. Not cool, man. All right. Be quick. Or they'll get wise to you. Something like a bad habit. I think you got one more in you, Trevor. What? That should do it. Nicely done. Dumbass. I reckon you should tag along next time I go hunting out at Polito Bay. I'll show you how to bag an elk. Eh, why not? All right, gotta go. I'll send you a text when I'm about. Okay, there you go. That was pretty terrible. We only got the the one requirement, bad signal, which is just to shoot the uh, satellite dishes without missing. And there's nothing to that. I'm going to have to definitely redo that one. Uh, but anyway, guys, so we're good there. Um, okay, I'm going to do one more thing uh, before we call this video. First of all, actually, let's check check our phone. we got some messages, I noticed. Let's see what who's emailing me. Oh, Maud's got us a new, new mission. Look who it is. Larry Topper. All right, Larry Tupper. I'll go after you in a bit. Let's see. Oh, we got some new guns at the ammunition. All right, that's fine. And we got some new stuff at the uh, the garages. All right, that's cool. What else you got? We got a text. All right. Uh... My answering machine is being monitored. Be careful what you say. Come on. They're listening. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, for this next one, I'm going to head over to the safe house, guys. Um, now, what we're going to do is this is the last character we need to watch TV. So I'm going to go over there and watch TV. And I'm going to end the video before we start because, again, our Rockstar does not want me showing the, the, uh, the TV shows on let's play videos so I'm gonna go set that up and get that going but for you guys this is gonna be the end of the video so yeah oh there's a random event oh yeah that one we'll deal with that later let's see here Where's my house? There it is. Okay, so we'll just head inside. And I'll fire this up. And this should be our last one, guys. It should give us the uh, checkbox done on the, um, the, the web page. So, yeah. So, uh, I'll stop here and watch this TV. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot.